So next is very important topic, locking and unlocking of knee. See, if this is our knee joint, so we are walking, we are doing other activities, same time what is happening in our body or in our knee, they are locked and unlocked. So it is a simultaneous process, but it is a very, really complex process, but some muscles are acting very cleverly, that's why we don't have any injury, right? So let's see what is happening in the knee joint. I already told you, quadriceps femoris, what do they do? They will do extension of knee joint. First of all, quadriceps femoris, they will be extending the knee joint by 15 degree, around the 15 degree. At the same time, medial condyle of, this you can see here, medial condyle of tibia and femur, they move in opposite direction. Medial condyle of tibia and femur, they are the part of knee joint, right? Tibia and femur, they move in the opposite direction and they lock, the, they make lock in the knee in extended position. So now knee is locked. Who locked it? With the help of cortisol somoris and medial condyle of femur and tibia, they helps in the locking in the knee in the extended position. But after that, we need what flexion. But you know, flexion is done by hamstring. Remember, hamstring never acts on, acts on this locked knee. Now knee is locked, right? Can't act on. Can't act on locked knee. So there must be something to unlock it. So there must be a muscle that is called unlocking muscle of knee that must comes here and unlock it. That is an important muscle. Who is that? Popliteus. What is it? Popliteus. So who is the unlocking muscle of knee? Popliteus. So Popliteus, they will come and unlock the muscle. Unlock the knee joint. So that who can act now? Now hamstring can act. Hamstrings now can act on what? Knee joint. So our problem is solved. So who will come and unlock? Popliteus. Then only who can act? Hamstring, because hamstring cannot act on a knock, uh, lock the knee, so hamstring will come and make which function? Flexion of knee joint, right? Now, see, we are doing unlocking and locking lot of time a day, right? So there can be big chance of injury, crush and injury, crush and injury in the lock, uh, the knee joint. But who is helping that? One of the this is popliteus. See, there is medial laminski and lateral laminski. So most commonly people who are having injury at the knee joint, they are more having on the lateral laminiski. See, the popliteus part they do is they will displace the lateral laminiski or they push on the posterior surface. So there is no injury there. So they are acting like a safe muscle or unlocking muscle so people cannot have injury. So there are many conditions clinically the people comes with a flexed knee in a flexed position or locked knee. Uh, they have severe pain to our casualty, right? So at that time, remember, these are the muscles. So accordingly, accordingly, we will act. So this is called locking and unlocking. Remember, these are the condition or these are the steps going on what? On the locking and unlocking. Most commonly, injury is common in medial and lateral, more common in lateral meniscus. Okay, that's about locking and unlocking of 